Hey, how's it going? This is Mike Moore, and I'm going to make a walkthrough for anybody that has a custom mesh but hasn't been able to put it into the game on their own. Before we get started, you're going to need to have these things. Your OBJ or FBX file that you've created, Body Slide and Outfit Studio, NIF Scope, and Fallout 4 Edit. I've got a link in the description for anybody that doesn't have these three programs. Let's start with opening Body Slide, clicking on Outfit Studio, and loading your file into the program. Dragging and dropping your file works fine, but you can also load it by going to File, New Project. We can see that my mesh has the text No Image all over it. That's good, it means the blade is set up to have a texture or UV map. If you don't have this, you may want to either pause and fix up your mesh, or keep going and remember for later. Go to File, hover over Export, and hit Export NIF. You'll get an error message that pertains to clothing and armor, don't worry about it, just hit OK, and hit Save wherever is convenient. Now you've got a NIF file, but it doesn't work at all. We need to edit this with NIF scope. You're also going to need another NIF file to use as the base for the one you're creating. I'm using the Chinese officer sword because it's similar to what I've made. Open up these two meshes now. Click on the mesh that you've created so it's highlighted, then right click on the highlighted area, and click copy branch. Move over to Chinese officer sword, right click on the white space, and click paste at end. We don't need your old NIF file now, so close that. Remove the two references inside the NIF you've created as they're only useful to the other file. Now go ahead and position your mesh where you want it to be. Since I'm making a sword, I'm making the bottom of the sword line up with the bottom of my sword. Now that you've got your mesh where you want it, we're going to need to name it. So go to Header, down below the white space with all the information about the NIF, and then expand the Strings area, then change Num Strings to one higher than it was before to make room for your new name, and type in the name you want to give your mesh. This won't show up in game, so just make it something you can remember, not something attractive. The number of strings starts at zero, so if you have 12 strings, the one you created will actually be 11. So go back to your mesh, Click on the name field and enter the number of the string you created. You'll now see that this name up here and the name down here are the same as the string you created, and this part is done. Go ahead and remove the BS Try shape containing the original mesh by right clicking, hitting block, and clicking remove. Make sure not to use remove branch because we still need the BS Lighting shader property that's inside the container. Now that the old mesh is deleted, we're going to want to replace the references we deleted earlier with working ones. Scroll down in your new mesh to BS Properties, click on that, and change the first field in there to the number to the left of the BS Lighting Shader property that we have left over from the old mesh. I'm just using the material that comes with the mesh because it's easy right now, and it also kind of makes the sword look like a duck. Now we need to add our mesh as a child of the Nine node, which is just a container that holds all the parts of the NIF. If you don't do this, the thing you've added won't show up in game, or your game will just crash to desktop. Click on the Nine node at the top, scroll down to where it says Children, and fill in this empty space that should be left over from you deleting the old mesh. Enter the number that is beside the container holding your new shape. If you're making a weapon, not armor, right click on the container holding your new shape, Click on Block, hit Convert, Bethesda, and then click BS Tri Shape. And if you're making an armor instead, leave BS Sub Index Tri Shape as it is. Now we want to edit the Bounding Sphere. If you don't do this, your weapon will be invisible in game, but it will cast a shadow. If you click on the Bounding Sphere container instead of the measurements, you will be able to see the Bounding Sphere that's covering your shape. Make this about the same size as the shape you've created by editing the X, Y, Z, and Radius. Now that the sphere is roughly covering your mesh, you can change the BGSM file, which is the file that stores all your material and texture data. I'm not going to do this, because I'm just using the default Chinese Officer Sword BGSM, but if you want to, just change this value in here, in the strings section that we looked at earlier. There's a lot of extra information in these two containers here, but it's all left over from when Skyrim and Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas used to use this information stored directly in the NIF, and it's not in Fallout 4, so you don't have to change any of this. It will change the way it looks in NIF scope, but it won't do anything in game. Any changes you want to do that affect in game have to be done in the BGSM file. 
Okay, so we're done in NIFScope. Go ahead and hit save, and save the file as something new, just in case you've screwed up and you need your old NIF again. And close down NIFScope. Alright, so now it's time to put this into the game as a new weapon. Open up Fallout 4 Edit, and when you get to this menu, only select Fallout 4, and then hit OK. Now I'm going to find an item that's similar to mine for ease of use, so I'll use the Chinese Officer Sword. Right click on the file you chose and hit copy as new record into, change the name to whatever you want this to be, then create your new ESP, add the name for that as well, hit OK, scroll down and you'll see the new mod that you've created. Click on your new file. There are some settings we can change in here, but that's not important for getting your model into the game. For now, all we're going to do is change the two model paths. At this point, you're going to want to move your file that you have saved, mine is on my desktop, over to your Fallout 4 data folder in Meshes. It's a good idea to create your own folder for this kind of thing, because not only are you going to clutter up your own game folder and never be able to find anything that you've added, you're going to clutter up everybody else's game folder that downloads your mod. If you click on your file that you want to copy the path of, you can shift right click, and it'll give you the option to copy as path. Now that your file is where it should be, go ahead and change the location here to where you put it, starting with whichever folder comes after Meshes. For me, it is Mike Moore. Scroll down and there's another model path down here that you may have to change if you're editing a weapon. Paste the path in here too. Now all you need to do is save, hit Control S, and close down the program. If you don't close down the program, the ESP will not save and it won't load into your game. Make sure to turn on the ESP you've just created as it will be turned off by default in the game and won't show up. So now let's load up into Fallout and see what this weapon looks like. Just open up console here and search for the weapon I created. I changed the name to Mike Moore's Sword in Fallout 4 Edit, so I can search for that. As you can see, I've got this new sword in the game. Since I changed the handle of the Chinese officer's sword and not the blade, I actually just end up grasping the sword, and there's no handle at all. Which is kind of silly, but it works! The model's in the game, and that's the goal we were looking for. And with that, that's the end of the walkthrough. Make sure to share this with anybody that's trying to create mods and is having trouble getting custom models into the game. I'm sure some of you are better at this than me, so it's up to you to be creative and make this community explode with your creations. We've got the ability, it's really exciting, and I can't wait to see what you guys make. Now hey, seriously, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you. Get out there and make some shit.